very good Katahu. Today I'll show you two programs <coughs> which will be using a picture converting it into a gray scale. That is nothing but a black, black and white you can say. A color picture and black and white. Sometimes you need to have a color picture, right? So in that case you can make use of it. Uh, this program and just simply convert it into gray scale here. Yeah? Means black and white color. Okay. Uh, see what is here in this program and just uh, uh, explain you from the beginning that after importing CV2 model, when you are here, just you are reading an uh, image. I am M stands for image actually. You are reading an image and I already have explained you what is CV2 and all, right? So the the path what we define here. The picture is uh, there on my desktop and this is the format of my photo that is JPEG. Okay. Uh, and now the procedure how what we are doing we are just taking a, a variable uh, name called gray in which I am just converting that color picture to gray square. What does it mean by color B, G, R to gray? Here uh, B stands for blue, green and red and to uh, gray scale okay and now what we are doing we are just after that after converting it into a gray scale just simply I'm showing the original image as well as the gray image. I mean uh, black and white and, and setting a loop uh, just a while just if you press the Q uh, you will be out of the, of the loop otherwise uh, your program will be an unending loop that's what I'll just let me uh, explain you about what is CV2 weight key zero. It's a function actually. It returns uh, minus one when no input is uh, made whatsoever. As soon as uh, it event occurs, that is a button is pressed on the uh, keyboard. A 32-bit uh, uh, integer return, and uh, what will happen? The O. Uh, in that scenario, the it, uh, a type of conversion will be there. Okay, that's what uh, happening in this thing. Okay, right. So now I'll just execute this program, and you see. Uh, let me. I'll just show you the. Um, see, this is the picture you can see on my desktop. Uh, and now I'll just. Uh, okay, execute this program, and you see what will happen. Okay, I'll just execute it, and see. You see that uh, this is my. Uh, color picture and after conversion you get like this okay and if I press Q see uh, what will happen the program will end and similarly what will happen here I have just commented about uh, uh, the last line in this program if I remove this uh, comment it will destroy all the that means you are not able to see the uh, picture of course it will show in a flash and after that what happen once you press Q it will destroy see so windows will be main disturb so whatever the images uh, uh, is there it will be disturbed so this is the first uh, uh, program which is uh, of picture and similarly I'll show you the another program uh, which is uh, used to uh, run a video usually whatever the video you make it it will be uh, like in uh, colored right nowadays everything is colored so now you if you want to convert it into uh, gray I mean like black and white type that's what I'll show you okay uh, now uh, first let me show you the uh, main uh, where is this uh, video clip original clip I'll show you that one is in uh, in colored actually see here trip uh, sorry my desktop is full of uh, icons I, I didn't uh, do any housekeeping task I'll do it uh, afterwards let us see that one Explain uh, the previous program. Uh, same. This is same thing only. 
here what we are doing instead of picture we are just taking mp4 format so see this is a uh, uh, um, i stored that my video clip on the desktop itself now i am executing this so what will happen when i execute see so fast it's to moving see once once again i will execute it okay you see that one see you get that one in gray right black and white right uh, that's what i want to show here in this program thank you for watching this uh, clip uh, if you have any doubt just contact me uh, in my email address uh, and have a nice day thank you so much